Do you mindlessly scroll on your phone when you wake up in the morning? Does it stop you from getting on with the day? From being productive? From achieving your goals? Well, that was me two months ago and I decided it was time to change. So I slightly altered my morning routine to get me out of that rut and I'm gonna share with you today how I did that. The three main issues I wanted to target going into this challenge was the fact that I was waking up really late and scrolling on my phone. I was kind of spending my days scrolling on my phone instead of doing things I actually enjoyed and I was going to bed way too late so my overall day was not being productive. So how did I counter this? If you've seen my morning routine video, you'll know that I wake up, I journal, I meditate and I go get ready for the day. That is slightly more unrealistic as I do actually go on my phone in the morning or have done up until this point. But for me, I was getting really fed up and I wanted to change. I think you need to be able to motivate yourself into actually wanting the change rather than kind of just changing superficially. You feel like you have to get to the point where you're really frustrated to actually make an actual change and stick with it. For me, my productivity just was not where it needed to be and that's kind of what was irritating me and what kind of sparked this whole challenge and kind of change in my routine. So you kind of need to consider what in your routine isn't working, what you don't like, and how you can resolve that. So I knew I didn't like mindlessly scrolling, so I'm like, okay, well, how can I do that? I know that I meditate on my phone, and then I end up scrolling on my phone, so why don't I replace my phone with a different device? I don't scroll on as much. Or I know that when I'm still lying down, I kind of just don't want to get out of bed. So why don't I change from lying down to sitting up outside of bed, so I'm already out of my bed and can't go back to bed. Then it's like, okay, well, when I'm meditating and then get up and I don't want to do anything, so if I'm then sitting up and I then start stretching, then I start moving my body and actually start kind of getting ready for the day. And then from that point, I'm kind of already prepared to then go into the bathroom and get ready. And then I don't want to go on my phone until breakfast. I know that I still like having time on my phone and catching up with messages and things people have sent me. So I now use breakfast as a time to look at my phone. So for example, I would need to leave the house at 10 a.m. So I know once I sit down to breakfast, I can't just be scrolling my phone for ages. I also know that I try and procrastinate getting ready for bed and going in the shower. So to stop that, I need to make sure I'm showering earlier and then I actually am getting ready for bed immediately after I shower. So without further ado, let's take you back in time to December the 18th on day one of the challenge. Hey humans, today is the 18th of December and it is day one of this 30 day challenge that i have convinced myself to do because last night i wrote a list and honestly i've just been really really fed up with how much i've been mindlessly scrolling on my phone i was like 1am last night um and i wrote up three things <laughs> that i really want to do to change um so the first thing is to get up earlier um, because I have been kind of getting ready for the day for about like 11, 11.30. At the moment, I wake up and I meditate. And normally I meditate for maybe five, 10 minutes. And then because I meditate off YouTube, I then end up scrolling on my phone for ages. So what I did this morning and what I'm planning on doing for the next 30 days is to get out of bed for my meditation. The thing I hate about meditating, like sitting up, is I always get cold. So bring a blanket with me, um, meditate sitting up on the floor and also use my iPad to open YouTube. Normally by using my iPad, I don't scroll as much and watch useless stuff. Normally that's on my phone. Also journal before meditating. What I did this morning, I basically did five minute meditation and then did stretching for five minutes. And that is my new plan for the mornings to get me up quicker. It also means I go to need to go to bed earlier. It's currently... 25 past 11 so i think before bed night is the aim and then my third thing is to try and stay off my phone during the day i need to come up with a good list of other things to be doing this is also a reminder to basically just say that you don't need to wait for like the first of the month or the first of january to do anything i think by the time this video is uploaded it will already have gone past new year so if you have already broken your new year's resolution just start again or just pick a random thing to start like you don't need to do like a new year thing 
just like start whenever if something is annoying you if you know a habit is bad or you want to start something just do it so this is the 18th of december i've decided i need to, <laughs> to get my life together um and this is how we're doing it so enjoy the rest of the updates it is the morning of the 19th of december so technically day two um and i have just done my morning new morning routine and i actually have not been scrolling on my phone i did a 10 minute meditation this morning and then done some stretching and made my bed it is currently nine o'clock i woke up at 8 30. i'm looking forward to cracking on i have a busy day ahead of me um so hopefully it will be useful that i haven't been on my phone this morning and actually i've got up at a reasonable time it is the end of day two and so far it's working really well I have actually had a really productive day. I started work at 10. Um, well, I actually filmed a video at 10. I filmed my journaling for the rest of the year, which took a couple hours. Then had lunch, then had a Teams call with a uni um, professor um, because I need to work on my essay. So I was going through my essay plan with him. Um, I had a call with my boyfriend. Um, and then I went to meet up with some friends but I did actually achieve a lot even if I didn't do actual work. Um, yeah, today has been really good, really productive. I It is it is just gone 20 past 10 in the evening. So I'm now going to go hop in the shower and get ready for bed and hopefully get another early night. This is the start of day three and this is me meditating and then stretching and making my bed just so you can see I'm actually doing it. It is the end of day three. I have just washed my hair, had a shower, I'm ready for bed. Um, and today has been so productive. It's been such a good day. And I woke up early. Um, I stretched as you saw this morning. Um, I got on with work. I did a lot of work on my dissertation. I finished editing and posting, um, like designed a thumbnail of my recent, like end of 2023 bullet journal. Um, I then went to see Wonka with my mum, which is, oh my god, it's, it's so good, like, such a good film, I love it. Um, and then I went to yoga as well. Um, but yeah, I've managed to stay off my phone pretty much. My screen time today has gone down slightly, I don't know, yeah. It's on 3 hours 31 minutes, um, which is better than normal. Um, still not the best, but... To be honest, like, I think a lot of that was, like, when I was, like, eating lunch. So whilst I was eating lunch, rather than just, like, going on it, like, throughout my day. I'm feeling like day was very productive. It was a very good day. Um, so it seems that my new routine is just working quite well, to be honest. Um, so we'll have to see how everything else goes. But I'm really liking it so far. But I think once I get back to uni, it's going to get a bit more difficult because of the later nights um, that I typically have when I'm at uni. Today is day five. Um, I have just done my morning routine, my new one, or at least like be more diligent with it. Um, I have to say, I'm really tired this morning. Um, I went to bed a bit later just because I went out to see family last night. We didn't get back until quite late. I have to say, yesterday though, I was kind of struggling to like stay off my phone. I did it in like the morning and the evening quite well, but then like, during the day, I did go on a bit more. Um, so I think I am like slightly struggling <laughs> with that. My aim is just to leave my phone charging or like just leave my phone like my like desk just like don't touch it until breakfast and then at breakfast i can like go on it and stuff um yeah that's the plan but it's actually getting a bit more difficult than i maybe thought it was gonna be it is the 27th of december i think it's actually going really well it has been christmas and like boxing day so i've been like quite busy seeing family and stuff i've been spending like a lot of today doing my new 2024 journal and i'm going to put it as one of my daily goals um for 2024 so i'm definitely going to be extending it beyond the 30 days my aim is basically to not go on my phone to at least breakfast so at least like even by the time I get to breakfast, it's like actually need to go on my day. But it's also a reminder that you can make the change at like any point and you don't need to wait for New Year. Not a lot happened between day 11 and 25, so just enjoy this little montage.
Today is my official start of uni. It is the 9th of January, so it's Tuesday. I figured out a setup um, for my meditation and stretching. So I kind of just lay my yoga mat down and rest against the, my bed. Um, it helps that I've tidied up a bit. Um, but so far, my bedtimes and mornings have been actually going really well. Um, and I'm really happy with how they are going. Um, for New Year, I've now made this part of my 2024 kind of like goals. So yeah, not quite a resolution, I don't think. Um, but kind of, yeah, my daily goals for, for 2024 um, is to definitely include this kind of like stretching and meditation. I found I've been so much more productive. Um, yeah, I woke up at 8.30 this morning. I'm still quite tired, but I did go to bed at like 11.45 last night. So I'm actually doing quite well. Um, and I think my housemates as well this term are all kind of like cracking on with stuff because we're all just super busy with uni. So I think we're all kind of getting our own nights, which kind of helps um, with things. So yeah, it's currently 9, 9.38. Um, I'm gonna go make myself pack lunch and then I'm going to head to uni. But so far it's working out pretty well for me. Um, and I think it's probably the best way, like the most, yeah, consistently, I've not like scrolled my phone. So I think it's a good routine that I've managed to find for myself. So what are my final thoughts about the challenge? As you've just seen, I've decided to now incorporate this new daily habit into my everyday kind of goals for 2024. I've been quite good at waking up at 8.30 every day, even though I'm now at university. And I've also started getting on campus early and I've actually started doing a lot more work and being a lot more productive, which has been really good considering I'm in my final year and work is quite intense this term. I have also managed to be getting to bed early. I've stopped mindlessly scrolling on my phone before bed I try and have a shower early and I've also switched up some of my kind of enjoyment routines to switch from just mindlessly scrolling to watching an actual Netflix show and enjoying that or reading a book I spent the whole of yesterday just reading and it was so lovely I've managed to get a lot more sleep and I also find that using my iPad has really worked but also I think it's paired with sitting up and out of bed as soon as i lie down again i just want to pick up a device and start scrolling so for me i know now that sitting up outside of bed with a blanket over me will work wonders and actually making me get up i also really find that stretching works really well in the morning and i think it's the aspect of my routine that i was lacking because it really does get your body motivated to get up and kind of get ready rather than still feeling very drowsy and like that I just want to lie down and go back to bed kind of state. I also found that my morning routine still takes the same amount of time even though I've added an additional step into it because I'm just replacing scrolling my phone with stretching instead. Overall I think it's been really successful and I hope I've managed to inspire you into rethinking your morning routines and kind of getting to the root of the issues and it is trial and error as well. Thank you so much for watching, all the best and love you lots. Bye. Subscribe.